<laughs> the Lady Cougar Charity Alumni Softball Game provides some impressive plays, some important funds for the current Hazleton Area High School program, and some laughs. There's no clock in softball, so it's probably easy to lose track of time when you're playing the game. They do say time flies when you're having fun. One moment you're getting your hair ready for the playoffs. One of the big things, it was called Dags Dolls, right? So we all braided our hair um, in support for our state, our district playoffs. And just that community, that family feeling, we all had the same braids in our hair. That to me was one of the best moments that we had as we were going as part of a team. The next moment you're helping put together an alumni softball game. And actually some of us don't even live in the area anymore and we actually come back to support the team because this is what gave us our foundation. It made us who we are. It gave us our values. Like I said, the family aspect of it. it, it it's a close-knit group and we really do want to make sure that we bring back and give to that. It's been 20 years since Amber Joseph represented coach John D'Agostino in the Hazleton area high school, but she hasn't lost her love of the game or the program. The alumni game is a fundraiser for the Lady Cougars Softball Booster Club to help ensure another generation of Lady Cougars have the time of their lives on the softball field. It becomes obvious that this is an extended family. Joanne Swank's three daughters all played softball for Hazleton area, and she says she had the time of her life watching them play. I can't believe it. I come here and I feel like these girls are all my kids too because you get so close to all of them. Two of Swank's daughters are at the game on this day. I don't know if they're going to play really uh, today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they say their backs, their legs, uh, their ankles, um, so they've played some wreck stuff during the years, but uh, to me they'll always be the same, always. Swank used to record all of her kids' games on VHS. During this game, she continuously records moments on her phone. So not much has changed, but in other ways it really has. All around the field, members of another generation look on with interest. <laughs> While kids are cheering on their moms in 2018 off the field, inside the fence, time seems to be moving backwards. The banter and some of the play makes it seem like the players are still in high school. The alumni team talks one of their former coaches into working the pitching machine in the circle. Jason Turry coached in the Lady Cougars program for 11 years. As you're out there and you're working at, at in the circle, do, do you look around and think for as much as things have changed, like you look at someone in the banter and everything and think, all right, yeah, this is almost the same as when they were 18. Oh, absolutely. You know, there's, you know, they're still coming up and swinging at the same pitches that got them out 10, 15 years ago, and you know, still know where their their uh, weak spots are and. Uh, but yeah, and they're still the same great enjoyment, I think, is, is key. And all of them, I think that was the big thing, how much they just enjoyed the game, uh, their love of the game, and that just exudes. There are no innings in this game. The players just rotate around the field, to the dugout, and then to the plate. It's like softball heaven, or field of dreams. There's a timeless joy to this game. Amanda Capus' visor fits in with this timeless theme. The visor dates back to at least 2004 and looks pretty beat up. Time probably has something to do with its condition, but you also have to factor in how Capus plays the game. After watching her play in the alumni game, there's a good chance the visor looked just as beat up 14 years ago. When do you wear it? Like, will you wear it out or only no, on like, no, like for the- came out of like the, the bin in the basement. <laughs> of, but you'll of keep it forever? Possessions. Oh yeah, for sure. Why so prized and what did you cherish about, about your time at, at Hazleton area on the song? It, it was just the best time of my life. I put in blood, sweat, and tears into this game for six years and being a part of the program was just such a special time for us. I made some of my best friends there and a lot of us still keep in touch to this day and there's just so many memories that like outside of the field, on and off the field, it was just such a great time in our lives and I think you could see that by the, the support that comes out when we get to get together every year. Um, hopefully, and we continue to do this. We haven't mentioned once just how successful the Hazleton Area High School softball program has been over the years, racking up piles of Wyoming Valley Conference and district championships. Maybe that's okay, because trophies tarnish, but family is forever.